the amazing thing about this module is to have fun and, and, and be creative and push the bounds of what you're uncomfortable with. Focus on the what I want to make it. Your thoughts and what you imagined actually come into reality. Cool learning step, yeah. What made it so interesting was the difficulty in the fact that we were thrown right into it. Knowing very little and just having to build on top of that. We spent most of the projects in the workshop learning with the technician's help. I have never worked with the coding part. Everything was pretty much new to me, from like prototyping, doing all the 3D printing, laser cutting, putting everything together, testing. So just by being in the studio, you were learning, learning so much. So we come from very different backgrounds that, that complemented each other very, very well. Uh, my background is in mechanical engineering. Low is a UX designer, environmental sciences. Worked in consulting for about seven years before joining IDE. Trying to make... yeah. For um, squishy... Squishy substrate and then put something like this grid on top of that. The Medusa, mm -hmm. and you're going to have a robotic arm and then potentially have this snake head over here. It's the kneading machines. The kneading machine. They have this rail where they're supposed like, to go down and up continuously. Oh, you got it? Nice. <laughs> Still have the connections kind of pulling down through. I don't know, you might even be able to wrap them and make it look like it's a little bit part of it. And the input from there is going to be identified by, yeah, by Wikinator, so our software. I want to play it. <laughs> Me too. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. So also we're making some obstacles, like in the, in the walls. Uh, we're making an instrument and then we'll assemble the strings. By like robotic arms. Yeah, it's robotic arms. That's what we're freaking on. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's a... Uh... Okay, it's a shy onion. Basically, it's a wearable device for user privacy. When it senses that someone is pointing towards the user with a phone, the onion closes around the user's head. Musical robot. Um, so the arm in the middle uh, will revolve and it presses the capacitive keys on the outside of the circle. So each key produces a different note. Breathe along with Spinny and follow the breathwork patterns. It's a guessing game between two partners, between four close apertures that will eventually a lock and review their thesis. Uh, when they have a conversation, the uh, flower is blooming. Yeah, yeah. Co conversation is blooming, yeah. There's a knitting machine, so the gestures of the user are translated into different colors. The mudra gesture are actually from Indian classical dance form that is called Bharatnatyam. This is uh, inspired by a porcupine. When there's incoming danger, we just lost this kind of sense of, of space around us. The dark star basically is a locker, so you can put a valuable thing inside. Using nostalgia with a bit of modern day technology. A nice cup of tea is always nice, plus we've just moved to the great country of tea. So I thought that was oddly appropriate. I think we wanted to do something that has an aspect of utility. More interesting and fun, but still does something useful. Look at the biomechanics of movement in a basketball Whoa, shot and the muscles happens. that control it. And then the impact of pressure and emotional state on how those, that coordinated movement happens. Image recognition, so it pixelates the cards that are shown to it. So it's just constantly playing blackjack. Sensor that used a substrate of this Velostat film, this piezo-resistant film, and then we have this kind of unique weave of conductive thread through it, where together you, you've got these like sensing nodes. Self-balancing algorithm, or there's another like mechanism, that is the robot arm. That stands for the human input. Well, we modified the robotic arm that Becky told us. We really went through many ideation processes to try and come to one thing. We did so many different prototypes, so many different iterations of our mechanism and prototyping with different materials, but also designs for the mechanism, like where to, for instance, we ended up working with cams. We were able to kind of support each other and get through those difficult bits quite well. I feel like I've learned a lot. A very great group to be in. It was a lovely group. Yeah. <laughs>
make me happy. Get yeah, out of family now. <laughs> that sort of thing. You can make a new family. <laughs> Bye, guys. Trying to balance that creative ambition with what's technically feasible with our skill set in the time um, was a challenge. And then with that, it sort of feeds into your self-confidence as well because you know that's always someone in a group that probably can help you to achieve better together. So I think that's pretty key. The amazing thing about this module is to have fun and, and, and be creative and push the bounds of what you're uncomfortable with. That thing is not working right now. <laughs> Sorry about it. <laughs> this is IDE1, Cyber Physical System. Module. Hope you guys are enjoying it. <laughs>